Welcome back to another episode, everybody. Today, as you can tell from the title of this video, we're doing a video about what's inside my tackle bag. And, um, just, uh, uh, you don't really need a actual tackle bag. Like, there's expensive ones from Tackle Warehouse and everything. I just use a normal, like, school backpack, an old one, and it fits a few boxes in it. And uh, all my soft plastics in this front pocket. And I have another pocket that I put my line and stuff in. And it has the compartments that are usually for like pencils and scissors for school. But I use my plier, that for my pliers and scale and all that stuff. So um, without further ado, let's get right into it. So I'm going to start from the um, front pocket and then make work my way back. So the front pocket is mostly soft plastics. Pull these out. What I like to do is take all the soft plastics I will need for clear and dirty water. Like, um, I just, anything I need, I just throw it in this gallon Ziploc bag. And, um, I have enough for the day. You should, oh, well, I have plenty for the day. So I have, well, these are falling out. I have gulp minnows, good drop shot bait right there. Good scent on them. Uh, chigger craws. Uh, I got some robo worms. I'm just going to flash some stuff. Um, there's trick worms in here, rage crawls, dirty and clear watercolors of everything. I got some, uh, zoom ten and a half inch curly toe worms. Those are good for clear and dirty water this color. Uh, some Senkos, and what bait I've been really liking lately is this, uh, Z-Crawl by Zoom. Great jig trailer, similar action to the, uh, uh, structure bug by Strike King. Uh, it has those two little pinchers on it. Here, let me open this up. It uh, actually has a similar kicking action, and it's so much cheaper. It has the, those two little pinchers in there. It's a great jig trailer. I've never really fished it any, any other way than as a jig trailer. Um, got some flukes. Favorite brand is are, the, oh, are these Lunker City Sluggos, they're called. They're just like a different brand fluke instead of the Zooms. Uh, so yeah, so I got a lot of good stuff in here. I got some drop shot baits. I really only have clear water colors for drop shot baits because um, you real I don't really drop shot in dirty water because they're not going to see it. Robo worms, just put them in a different bag. Um, so that's pretty much all my soft plastics. What else? I got some swim baits and that kind of stuff. So soft plastics, put them in your gallon bag, and if you have a backpack that has a little front pocket like this, it's perfect. It fits right in there. Uh, also in this front pocket is my scale, um, scissors for cutting braid, forceps for getting hooks out, uh, pliers, oh, these are getting a little rusty, um, what else is down there? More scissors, is there anything else in there? Um, oh yeah. And a uh, wacky rig tool for Senkos. So that's the front pocket. And then next is this bigger pocket, which fits. I probably could fit three, but I put two 3,700 size boxes. My terminal tackle box. And my, like, day box, pretty much. Just anything I'll need for the day. Clear and dirty watercolors. Uh, take this back down. Uh, real quick, two shout-outs I gotta give up. Burks Baits right there. Follow them on Instagram. The links will be down below in the description. Um, so follow, give them a follow. He sent me some jigs as long as I give him shout outs in my videos, which is pretty sick. And uh, Marine Plus, my uncle's company in uh, Deep Creek Lake near Maryland. If you're, you'll be around there. Uh, if you have a boat around there, he'll do maintenance to it. He stores them in the winter. He can winterize the motors and all that stuff. Um, give him a call if you're interested. I think you can see that. Um, I'll put his information down below in the description as well. But let's get into this box. Alright. So, in this top corner, you guys can't really see it, but I have some chatterbaits. I just take three chatterbaits around with me. I don't fish chatterbaits too much. But I've got a black and blue for dirty water. I've got a white when I'm trying to imitate shad. Uh, and a green, and a, uh, green pumpkin and bluegill style color. Um, 
Next compartment, I have some poppers. I carry around four with me. Don't really need more than four. Uh, this is a shoot, what is it? Boyd Ducket series. This is a Bass Pro Shops popper. Um, this ye yellowish one looks like a perch. I'm not exactly sure what brand that is, but it's a decent popper as long as you change the treble hooks on it. And then this one is a Matsuo. Most of these are shad imitating, though what two of them are. This orangish one is good for imitating bluegill, and then this one imitates some perch. Or just something that gets on the bass's nerves. Next is my square bill compartment. I carry around ow, two chartreuse blackbacks. There's one, there's two. Uh, this bluegill color, a shad pattern like this one, and then a crayfish sort of color. Cover all color, uh, cover all um, clarities of water and stuff like that. Uh, this next compartment down here, I got some top water baits. Got a whopper plopper, 130 size, uh, walk, some and some walking baits. A Bass Pro Shops brand walking bait, which is actually really good, as long as you change the hooks out. Uh, this is a Rebel Jumpin' Minnow, it's called, in a smaller size. And then this is a Rebel Jumpin' Minnow in a larger size, basically like a head and spook. And then I've got some jerk baits and swim baits in this little compartment. Uh, this little swim bait. It's a decent swim bait. It's not terrible. It's a Biwa Strout, I believe it's called. And then I have jerk bait. That is a bomber, long A. And then two, two of these um, Rapala, not Husky Jerk, the, uh, what is it called? Shadow Wrap. That's what it's called. All right, so my next, ow, I just hooked this up right in the finger. That hurt. Um, so my next compartment is lipless crankbaits. I've got some Rattle Trap brand, like the original, yeah, it's stuck in my finger. Original Rattle Trap, and then I have one uh, Strike King in there. Just some different shad patterns. Good fall bait. Don't fish them much in the summer. Next is deep crankbaits. I do not fish deep crankbaits all that much. I got some 3XDs, Tennessee Shad color, two more C 3XDs, Sexy Shad, and then this is a Berkeley Dredger, I think, in bluegill color. Uh, next compartment, I have some Burks Baits jigs, really good baits. Um, got a, let's see, I've got a swim jig like a bluegill color. Uh, I got three black finesse jig, black and blue finesse jigs in here. No, four. Four of those, just black and blue finesse jig. Um, three flipping, uh, normal flipping jigs, June bug. Uh, it's actually called um, Bourbon Sunrise, but it's basically June bug. Uh, I got a Lunker Candy color, this one's called. It's like a chartreuse and white with some black in there. It's a really good color when you're trying to imitate shad in dirty water. Another chartreuse-ish color. Pretty cool one. It's, there's no name for that one. It's one of the, I'm the, probably the only person in the world who has that specific jig. Um, this is another no-name color. Actually, no, this is Camo Sun Crawl. That one's called uh, Tennessee Bluegill. It's like a bluegill color. And then I've got a swim jig here, it's a PB&J. Those are some really good jigs. Um, he makes some really good jigs. He puts a lot of time into it and stuff like that. Uh, also, next is my frogs. I've got mostly poppin' frogs in here, just because I really like the poppin' frogs. Actually, not mostly. Wait, yes, mostly. Um, I've got three Booyah Poppin' Pad Crashers. Uh, this is the... Shad frog, I don't know what that one's called, and then a black, and then I've got two normal walking frogs, and one's tied onto my rod right now. Uh, this is a Seabile or Seabile pivot frog, I don't know how to say it, just got that one hook on the back. Um, I've got a KVD sexy frog, I don't like this frog, but I just keep it just in case I need an extra frog. And then I like the Spro frogs a lot, but that one's tied onto my rod right now. Uh, final compartment of this box is spinner baits and buzz baits mostly, but then I have that duck in there. If you haven't seen my duck fishing video, link in the description. 
like the fishing baby duck lure. And I have like some soft plastics in this little Ziploc with some scent in there just to keep them, they're jig trailers, just to keep them scented and nice and juicy. I've got some spinner baits and one buzz bait because I've broken off four buzz baits in the like past week. So I'm out of buzz baits. But uh, here's a um, Yamamoto spinner bait. That's a pretty good spinner bait. It's a big, real big profile. Um, this is a custom made buzz bait that my cousin gave me. It's uh, I'm not, I don't even know what the brand is, but he had it custom made for him. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, got two more spinner baits that I actually just picked up today. Um, both War Eagles. I really like the War Eagle spinner baits. Both half ounce mouse color. This one's called, and this one is called like uh, blue herring shad or something like that. Uh, so that's cool. Pretty cool. I've got a Terminator in here. I put a little trailer on the back. And then finally in that compartment I have this nice juicy duck. Um, so that's it for the... Ow. Just hooked myself again. That's it for this box. And then I'll show you the terminal tackle. Which is not really... Not really that interesting. But I'll show it to you guys anyway. Um, next is this terminal, ah, uh, no, I'm not showing you the terminal technical, well, maybe I will, I'll just flash you some stuff, uh, basically, how I'm organizing this, here, I'll put it like this, uh, can you see that, right here, 2 out, 3 out, 4 out, EWGs, and then I've got some round bends, and then I got, got weights, um, quarter ounce, 3 eighths, half, I think you guys can see that, I can't see the viewfinder right now, and then I've got super line hooks, 3 out, 4 out, and then I just have regular clipping hooks. These trocars. Uh, 5 out. And then I've got drop shot hooks up here. Can't really see them because they're car covered in cardboard so they don't slide around. Treble hooks, drop shot weights. Down here I've got like wobble heads and heavy tungstens and punch stops. Uh, right here is trailer hooks for spinner baits and buzz baits. Wacky rig hooks, swim bait hooks, jig heads. Ned rig heads, shaky heads, eighth ounce, shaky heads, three sixteenths, and shaky heads, quarter ounce. So, I've got a pretty good uh, set of terminal tackle on me. I won't need to stock up on that. If you, I did a pretty big terminal tackle unboxing about two months ago, and uh, I got most of that stuff in there, so I'm pretty stocked up. And also, one final thing are these swim baits in uh, this uh, compartment because they don't fit in the other one with that gallon bag of soft plastics but these are the Bass Pro Shops Speed Shad and they're basically a fake make of the Kytex Swing Impact Fat um, but these are really good they have just a similar same action pretty much and they also have their own type of scent not as strong a scent as the Kytex have but they're still a good um, swim bait I like them as spinnerbait trailers, chatterbait trailers swim jig trailers or just swimming swimming them with like a six shot screw lock hook these are the 4.8 inch so six shot screw lock is pretty good size for these and um this color is smallmouth magic it's like a looks like a smallmouth pretty much it's like the darker golden bronze on that side and then the white on the belly so those are pretty good final compartment in this bag is my line and my scents I got a uh, 20 pound cigar fluorocarbon in there it's a real good line. It's this red label fluorocarbon. It's their uh, cheapest line, but it's still really strong line. It's like they have their uh, Abrazex and um, Invisex, which are really expensive, and they work great. They're just um, too expensive for me. What the heck? But this red label is uh, 10 bucks for how many yards? Like about 200 yards, 20 pound is 175, but if you get like the 10 to 15 pound, it's 200 yards. And, um, it's really strong line. Also in here, I have this P-Line Floor Clear. 12-pound, 8-pound, and I do have a 15-pound in here, I think. Here it is. Uh, this is a, uh, copolymer. So it's monofilament, but with a, um, fluorocarbon coating, so it's kind of invisible. 15 pound. This is a strong line, good for te Texas rigs and stuff. A little light for jigs. Uh, I'd like a 17 to 20 for jigs or 30 pound braid. But um, 8 pound, good for finesse stuff. And then 12 pound, just a good all around. 
spinner baits, crank baits, all that kind of stuff. So there's my line. Oh, one more spool of line. Where is it? Oh, uh, 20 pound braid. Uh, just a good finesse line for on your spinning reels. It's always good to have some braid on there with a floor carbon leader. And then 50 pound braid for my frogging and flipping rod. Power Pro is a good line. I don't like the spider wire stuff that much. It's good for the finesse stuff because you have your drag loose, but I used our 30 pound for jigs and it broke off every time I set the hook. So I do not recommend spider wire braid. And then finally, I just have my spike in there. So um, that concludes the episode for today. I was inside my tackle bag. Sorry for not doing much, um, many fishing videos lately. The last one was like six days ago. I'm sorry, guys. Um, haven't really had a chance to fish. The weather hasn't been that good. Um, kind of, me, I mean, me and my family and I have been pretty busy, but I'm going to have a lot of fishing videos coming up this week. I'm going to that, uh, super juicy pond. I'm going to, the where I caught my PB bass at, and I had a good day fishing jigs in the rain, and I'm going to try and fish there at night if I can. Maybe throw a big worm, see if, uh, I can catch a giant out of there. Some guy told me the biggest he's caught out of there is five pounds, five and a half pounds. So, um. That's pretty big bass for Maryland, and uh, hopefully I can catch a giant and maybe break my PB again. Um, all right, guys, thank you for watching this episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, share it with a friend if you liked it, if you think they'll like it too. Um, uh, I guess that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, everyone.